Hey everyone, Happy New Year. I hope that you've had a happy and safe holiday season, and I'm really looking forward to bringing you more great content in 2019. If this is your first time here, why not consider subscribing? I make regular content about Japan life, food, and travel. So January is all about the new year, whether it be the first shrine visit of the year, known as Hatsumore, to wish for health and prosperity for the year ahead, or perhaps picking up one of the several fukubukuro, or lucky bags, from the several retailers that are cashing in on the holiday. As always, some of the event dates may change year to year, and I'll leave links to all the event information down below. But this will give you a general idea of all the things that you can do in Japan in January. Firstly, winter illuminations are still continuing, so please be sure to check out my December Things to Do in Japan guide for more information about them. One such illumination is the Osaka Castle Illuminage from December 1st to March 3rd. Information for this event wasn't available at the time I made my December events video, which is why I'm including it now. The illumination is inspired by Japanese history from the Edo period to the Meiji period as well as traditional Western scenes. Entry to the event is 1200 yen, and from January 1st to 6th, you're able to witness a samurai show with illuminated samurai costumes. From December 31st to January 1st is the Okera Mairi, or Old Year's Eve, at Yasuka Shrine in Kyoto. I mentioned this ritual in last month's guide. People will visit the shrine from December 31st to wish for health and prosperity for the year ahead. They can also light lengths of bamboo rope from the flames of the lanterns within the shrine precinct. The flames are burnt from the roots of the medicinal okera herb. The rope is then swung as they carry that flame home. The flame can be used to light a candle on the household altar, or be used to light the flame to make zoni soup. Zoni soup is the most auspicious food that you can consume on New Year's Day. At Nijo Castle in Kyoto from January 1st to 4th, is its garden special opening. In celebration of the new year, the castle garden will be open to the general public. Usually closed off to the public and only viewable from the stone foundations of the former keep, this is a rare opportunity to stroll the beautiful gardens. Entry is 400 yen. Also in Kyoto from January 8th to 12th is the Toka Ebisu Festival. This popular five-day festival celebrates Ebisu-san, the Japanese god of luck and commerce. Several charms will be on sale to help you improve your fortunes for the year. Big crowds of people will also be attending in hopes of improving their luck for the year. Legend goes that Ebisu-san is also slightly deaf, so you'll be hearing the raucous sounds of people knocking on wood in order to gain his attention before they pray. As usual with Japanese festivals, nighttime is more fun. However, there are several events that you can see during the day. Events such as the Kagura dance, which blesses and purifies the lucky bamboo grass, and Geisha will be handing out lucky mochi rice cakes and bamboo. There will also be street food stalls and entertainment. From January 13th to 15th is the Nozawa Fire Festival. Known as one of the three great fire festivals of Japan, this is a must-see event. You'll be able to witness preparations for the event taking place on January 13th and 14th. However, the evening of the 15th will be the big event itself. On January 14th at Osaka's Shitenoji Temple, one of the oldest temples in Japan, is the Shitenoji Doya Doya Festival. This festival marks the end of the 14-day period of worship after the new year. Dozens of loincloth-clad young men will be doused in ice-cold water as they compete for banknotes in teams. They shout doya doya as they get sprayed with the water and they compete for the banknotes. And as with anything Japanese, it gets incredibly competitive. Be sure to come in the morning to secure a good spot for the 2pm start. Also on January 14th in Nara is the Oni Hashiri. Literally meaning demon run, this is a 500 year old ritual held at Nembutsu Temple. Three ogres carry flaming torches to scare away evil spirits from the dark hall, while taiko drums, trumpets and bells will be used to awaken the spirits. The main demon run will occur at 9pm, however there will be one at 4pm using unlit torches. The ceremony is considered a national cultural event of historical importance. In Akita on January 17th is the Miyoshi Bonden Matsuri held at Mount Taihe Miyoshi Shrine. Bonden are sacred wands, which are markers for gods entering the world. They are heavily decorated bamboo baskets, which can reach up to four meters in length. This festival sees men race to be the first to place offerings for a bountiful harvest. 
This sometimes violent race is quite the spectacle, with not only competitors, but also attendees pushing to touch the charms on the Bonden to gain luck and power. On January 26th in Nara is the Wakaksa Yamayaki. This is an incredibly impressive event. The entire mountainside of Mount Wakaksa will be lit with flames while fireworks will be set off. The actual origins of the ritual are unknown. Some say that it stemmed from boundary disputes between neighboring temples, while others say that it was to scare away boar or even evil spirits. This is one of Kansai's biggest events, with all three of the city's main temples participating, Todaiji, Kofukuji, and Kasuga. From January 27th to March 4th is the Kamakura Festival at Unishigawa Onsen in Tochigi Prefecture. Kamakura are Japanese snow houses akin to igloos, and hundreds will be on display. They'll be illuminated in the evenings, and you can even arrange to have a barbecue in one of them. There will also be plenty of snow activities that you can do during the day. Entry for the full day is 510 yen, while evening entry is 300 yen. Lastly, from late January to early February is the Kayabuki no Sato Snow Lantern Festival in Miyama, Kyoto Prefecture. You'll be able to see snow-covered thatch roofs illuminated with hundreds of lanterns. You can even try your hand at making your own snow lantern with local residents. There'll be entertainment including taiko, shamisen and dance performances, as well as food stalls. Entry is free. Well, that's all for my things to do in Japan in January. Which event did you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and hit that notification bell to know as soon as I upload a new video. My name is Lin Yunt. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Kayabuki no Sato, Snow, Fe Snow Lantern Festival. Kayabuki no Sato, Kayabuki no Sato, Snow Lantern Festival. Lastly, from late January to early February is the Sato 